Landmarks are what put small towns on the map. That's right. In Winona, which straddles Marshall and LaSalle counties, that landmark is the old Winona coal mine. Alyssa Paldo takes us inside the restoration of a piece of the town's history. Hey, Alyssa. Hey, Mark and Shelby. Winona is the type of place where everyone knows your name and treasures, like the sweet shop and one room schoolhouse, have been around almost as long as the town itself. Another one of those places is the old coal mine, and the town is now working to restore its charm. You come around the curve to Winona and you see the coal mine, you know you're home. It was just every memory is surrounded by this. Talk to anyone in Winona and they'll tell you a story about the coal mine. Some uncle or aunt would just walk you up here and we always had a good time. And we were always up there um, in school. We always came into science classes and looked for fossils. Um, had a lot of picnics up there with my, with my parents. Yeah, the mines are a part of our history. It's part of the town's identity and you can't miss it. No matter where you are in town, you can see it. You're passing away. You wouldn't even know that this is Winona, but you see the coal mine from the interstate. You see it from the roads. You see when you're here, you can look past and see 50 miles out, and it's just an amazing thing. You don't know where you're going until you know where you've been. The Winona Coal Company opened in 1883, and soon after, immigrants from Central and Eastern Europe settled in Winona looking for work in the mine. They would be recruited by the mine owners, someone to come in to work the mines. The mine shafts were only three to four foot deep, so a lot of times they were on their hands and knees working, and so they had to have a short shovel. At its peak in 1910, the mine employed 450 men working in complete darkness deep down in the 576 foot mine. There's two mansions, and they were built by the, the folks that owned the mines, and they, they built those mansions uh, on the backs. Of these immigrants. So it wasn't all, you can see a picture of some miners coming out of a mine and there are smiles on their faces. No, there wasn't. They, they, it was just a terrible, horrible job. The sound of a whistle let the workers know to report to work. Eight hour shifts, six days a week. Five people lost their lives on the Winona coal mine. It closed in 1925, later becoming an Army radar station during the Cold War. You want to bring back preserve what it is. And that's exactly why these descendants of the old mining town are working to keep the stories of where they came from alive. We start having these awesome artifacts that are showing up that from the families. The Historical Society is building a coal cart replica and at the top of the hill a mural paying tribute to those who lost their lives so many years ago. A look back at where the town came from and where it's headed. One thing about a small town, you know, you don't have people knocking on your door to move into town, so you got to kind of sell your town. So we're kind of selling it with a little bit of history. These small towns are kind of shrinking and, and dying, so in Winona, we don't want that to happen. We want our little town to survive because we have something that we can sell that, that is invaluable. And they're also restoring the hiking trail to the top of the mine and hope to add a lookout tower. They're hoping to finish the project in time for the Winona Days Festival later this summer. Shelby, thank you.